Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we are outside the Crooked Letter Kitchen in Pearl, Mississippi to do their awesome big cheesy pig challenge. So it's absolutely a massive barbecue sandwich. We've got a full rack of ribs on it, a whack of pulled pork, a whack of macaroni and cheese. It looks delicious, covered in their sauces, and a whole bunch of fried mac and cheese balls. So I'll give you some more info, let's see what happens, and let's have some good old fun. Oh, in 29 minutes, only 29 minutes, big sandwich. I'm excited, let's eat some good food. Pearl, Mississippi, Jackson area. Love this place, love the food. I can go have more of it. Here we are with the Cheesy Pig Challenge. It's absolutely massive, so loads of barbecue. We got pulled pork, we got a whole rack of ribs, we have mac and cheese, we have candy jalapenos, and a house-made pickle, which sounds delicious. All on a beautifully branded bun with a whack of these mac and cheese fried balls. We have a couple here, one thing on it. We're gonna have 29 minutes to eat this thing. Reyna, are you ready? Better be. She better be. I am too. This looks delicious. I love barbecue. So uh, pretty much we're gonna get started. Definitely have some gloves. I'm gonna glove up. I'm put my hair up and put on some gloves. I already have my hair up again. I'm ready to rock. <laughs> Raina's always slacking. No, I'm just kidding. All right. At that, I think uh, we're ready to get started. Hopefully everybody is too. Um, do we have a timer? Something? The official ready? time? Excellent. So we'll start. We'll say the count of five, four, three, two. One. Cheers, Raina. Let's go. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah. Barbecue. I love it. That pulled pork is delicious though. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at the Crooked Letter Kitchen in Pearl, Mississippi. So in the Jackson, Mississippi area. So here we are doing their awesome food challenge. And I will say guys, this was absolutely delicious. So they have um, kind of their uh, signature pulled pork sandwich, their signature sandwich being a pulled pork sandwich with mac and cheese on it. It then has their delicious sauces, all which they make there. Um, their barbecue sauce was kind of like a red sauce, uh, bordering a little bit more of a vinegar sauce, um, which I absolutely very much enjoy. Just great, great flavors in it. A little bit of sweetness, but a really nice acidity that really helps complement, um, you know, the savoriness of the pulled pork, that richness of that very rich mac and cheese. Again, everything, it tastes like it's both, it's like a homemade, homegrown kitchen. It's, it's, it's Mississippi, it's awesome. And they definitely got soul down there, that's for sure. I love the sauces, they make them here. Just beautifully flavored. So for this challenge, we only had 29 minutes, um, which is definitely not a lot of time considering all of what we had. So we had uh, multiple pounds of pulled pork, multiple pounds of mac and cheese, then we had all the mac and cheese uh, balls, like deep fried mac and cheese balls. So we each had one big mac and cheese ball on top of the, uh, I'll call it a sandwich, I guess, like a barbecue sandwich, like the ultimate barbecue sandwich, one on top of the sandwich, um, and then we had two on the side. You can see them there in the little uh, paper container. Um, by my Diet Coke. Very thankful for gloves for this one because this is a challenge you definitely need to get in, get your hands messy. But I mean, hey, with barbecue, that's totally acceptable. Um, they also had uh, pickles that they made there and also some candied jalapenos, both of which were absolutely delicious. Um, Raina didn't want the pickles. Um, I don't recall if she got the jalapenos as well, but great additions, great additives, um, just excellent flavors, just again, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of spiciness, a little bit of everything. Um, in addition, they had their Alabama white sauces, again, the uh, traditional barbecue sauce. We also had a full rack of ribs on that sandwich. Yes, that is right. This is the first time I've ever had a sandwich with a full rack of ribs. So like, you can't go, like, it, it's just, it's crazy. Like you can't get more of a barbecue sandwich than a sandwich, which has a full rack of ribs on it. So again, so cool, so unique. And I mean, the, the guys, the restaurant owner's dad made the barbecue. So like homegrown. Really, really good. I think we're both done the full pork. These ribs are excellent. Really nice smoke on them. I like it. I like it a lot. 
So the Crooked Letter Kitchen is a food truck, as I mentioned, as I, as I uh, showed, um, in an AutoZone parking lot is their traditional location. Um, so I mean, it's 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 pretty cool, and it's right on the main highway, like one of the main highways, kind of on in that Jackson Pearl area, which, you know, if you're in a northern climate like I live um, up in Canada, you know, food trucks don't have the same ability to function year round as they do in some of the warmer places. These guys here, even though it does definitely get a bit cooler in Mississippi, I know they are pumping out delicious food year round. They are keeping up that awesome amazingness, of the, you know, the freedom. Think, like, think about that, having a food truck year round, that's so cool, so much freedom. You kind of go where you want to, you go and you do what you want. So hashtag freedom. If you guys like freedom, let me know down below. Hashtag freedom right now, guys. I'm all about that freedom, you know that. You know I'm all about that lifestyle. That being said, I'm also about barbecue. So freedom, barbecue, and then like I said, Mississippi. And um, we also had a great crowd here, so huge thanks to everybody who came out to support Reina and I. This was um, an excellent experience overall. Again, the staff, absolutely excellent. Um, the food was really, really great. Uh, I really, like I said, it's kind of like, it seems like a simple idea, putting macaroni and cheese and on a pulled pork sandwich, but it, yeah, it's so innovative. And then, like I said, when you throw in all different flavors, especially when you throw in a rack of ribs, whoever thought of that idea, extra special kudos to them. But uh, yeah, just absolutely exquisite, guys. Um, I believe that's pretty much most of the uh, information. Um, we're gonna get the meal for free, some sweet t-shirts if we were able to complete it. Again, only 29 minutes, which is definitely a big, big challenge um, You know, for such a short time limit. Uh, they did have the brand that they branded all the sandwiches with as well, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, it, it's not only a cool, you know, additive, a cool, unique point, um, but, you know, it, it adds an extra special flair and touch, you know what I mean? Like, no puns intended. Uh, but with that, everybody, I think that's all the information I have for you. So I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Hopefully, Raina can, and I can get some wins. And, uh, well, let's ultimately see what happens. You know I love barbecue, guys. You know this is my lifestyle. So let's get on to it. Um, as of Obviously, we're eating outside. It was a little windy out. A little cooler as well. Um, or at least starting to cool off, I should say. This was still in um, early September. So not, uh, not super, super cold. But uh, definitely cooling off a little bit. And especially with that wind. So you may see a little bit of, uh, we'll say, outdoor elements. But at that, guys, let you get the rest of the video. Hope you enjoy, and let's see what happens. Really good. The ribs are very meaty. Nice flavor on them. <laughs> Raina's doing really well. And she's trying to, I don't know what she's doing. Something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing the meat off the bone.
about nine and a bit minutes in. Marina's doing well. She has not too much left, just some uh, mac and cheese basically, and deep fried mac and cheese. About the same spot. So yeah, no complaints. Doing good, Raina? Good. <laughs> Thank God for gloves. It works really well for getting in there. I always say you need the right tool for the right job. In this case, the hands are definitely the right tool. All right. Bun left, deep fried mac and cheese, balls. Excuse me. Ooh, excuse me. That's a compliment to the chef in a lot of cultures, so you can tell it's good. And then, yeah, Rain is still doing real well. Excuse me. Getting on probably about 13 minutes in. Last mac and cheese ball. Reina is still working on mac and cheese. Doing well. And a few balls left. You're good. So apparently she's cold. It's just a little windy out. I don't think it's that cold out. I mean, but I am from Canada. So we, we do have different standards, I guess. 75 degrees is cold I need to be at least 95. If 75 degrees is cold for her, you have a very small part of the world you can live in your own. I know. I know. God bless Mississippi. I could wrap you in paper towels. Sure, that'll work. Yeah. And we're done. Awesome. So 14 minutes, 20 seconds for myself. That means Raina has roughly 14-ish minutes left. So come on, Raina, keep the good work. You're doing well. Keep shoveling her down. And I mean, we got so many people here. Like, seriously, much love down here in the Jackson, Mississippi area. We're in Pearl specifically right now. I'm going to show everybody here. We'll give a good cheer for Randy here. But, oh, wait. I don't even have to clean my hands. I didn't take my gloves off. Yeah. Look at that. Perfect. That was easy. I need gloves more off. Oh, oh, wow. Look at that. We got a shawl. Thank you so much. Just don't get it covered in cheese. All right, perfect. And look at everybody here, much love. Let's give Raina a round of applause. Woo! Awesome. Like I said, awesome crowd here. There we go. So let's go, everybody. Let's go, Raina. Doing well. Raina says she's warm now, so that's good. I tell you though, that was delicious. That barbecue. Woo! Awesome. That was great. What? Oh yeah, Raina got it. Thirteen minutes left. She got it. Well, I don't think you know around. the difference, man. When I'm yeah. cool, I can't do anything. I've seen her earlier. I didn't get to see her. Oh, no, me neither. And I'm just kidding. I'm working. Hi, Captain. Yeah, welcome back. This is how 
I get to see. Glad to see it. Yours. Well, hey, now we get to see it. Well, you always get it for her anyway. Uh, I don't know. Not always. Well, not always. Most of the time you do this before. Yeah. I've seen. I, do, yeah. I, I just do what I can. So. Happy to happy to be here. Happy to be part of it. So. Yeah, but I'll see her put a hole with me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. is apparently making a video of her shoving this last One mac and cheese mac and cheese ball in her mouth. Yeah, so this is the mac and cheese ball from the Crooked Letter Kitchen in Jackson, Mississippi. We're gonna go what my challenge. Congratulations, Raina. Thank you. You're Good too. job. So that huge thanks to Crooked Letter Kitchen. Very, 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 very delicious. Well, whoever gave me this is MVP. Man. Yeah. Oh. Thanks to uh, Thank uh, thanks I for the straw. Raina definitely did it. But yeah, absolutely. Seriously, great food. Absolutely enjoyed it. Uh, if you're ever in the Jackson and Pearl area, definitely stop by this food truck. It is in the parking lot of Advanced Auto Parts on Highway 80. I think it's 3107 Highway 80 East to be specific. So that. Thanks so much, everybody. Until next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Seriously, get a cheesy pig. It was absolutely delicious. And the barbecue is on point. It's cooked by the guy's dad, so it has to be great. Bye, everybody. You know what to do. I've said it all. Have a lovely life. Until next time. Bye. Thank you, Mississippi. And again, huge thanks to everybody who came out. Again, so many people standing out. Much love, so super excited. Again, amazing staff, amazing food. Definitely come check out the Crooked Letter Kitchen, which is officially busting taste buds in the best way possible. Y'all eat better if we play music?
Uh, probably better if not. Yeah. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. <laughs> Copyright issues. Otherwise, I would love it. What? The same? Right, same? <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I gotta say happy birthday to this young lady right here. Oh, happy, happy birthday! birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you.